Wow, look how fast it's moving. JoJo Science Show! Hello, welcome to JoJo Science Show. Today I have this. This is called a radiometer. It was invented in 1873 by a scientist named Sir William Crookes. <laughs> this works in the sunshine, so we have to go outside to see how it works. I also have an infrared thermometer. We're also going to see which color gets hotter in the sun, black or white. Do you see when I put the Crookes radiometer in the sun, it starts to spin? It's amazing that it's converting sunlight into motion. Wow, look how fast it's moving. I'll explain how it turns, but first, I'll show you what happens with black and white in the sun. I've placed a white piece of cardboard and a black piece of cardboard in the sun. The white piece of cardboard only got up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, while the black piece got up to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. The black is more than 30 degrees warmer. That's a lot. We also measured it in Celsius. The black side got up to 59 degrees Celsius. The white side was only 42 degrees Celsius. Black heats up in the sun because it absorbs the energy of the sunlight and turns it into heat. White reflects the sunlight and remains cooler. Do you see how there's four veins? Each one has a white side and a black side. These are air particles around the veins. When the radiometer is in the sun, the particles on the black side get hot and start to knock into the vein. Particles on the white side move to the warm side to try to even out the temperature. And the veins start to spin. Therefore, the veins spin because there's higher pressure on the dark side, which pushes the vein around. You just learned how a Crookes radiometer works. Now you know why you should wear a white t-shirt on a sunny day and a black t-shirt on a cold day. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show. If you like this video, then hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to my channel so you can see all my fun videos. And remember kids, science is fun. <laughs>